In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get started selling digital products using PayHip. And the cool thing is you can get started for free. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to create your own business and be your own boss. So to join the boss tribe, all you have to do is hit subscribe. Now I'm going to break this tutorial down into three parts. I'm going to show you how to add your digital product, how to set up your payout so you can get paid, and how to set up your online store with PayHip. Now, if you've never heard of PayHip, let me give you a quick overview. PayHip is an online e-commerce platform that allows you to sell physical products, digital downloads, digital courses, memberships, and online coaching services. You can sell your products directly on the PayHip platform, or you can share your products onto your website and sell directly from your website. PayHip offers some advanced marketing features to help sellers increase their sales. I will go over these features later on in the tutorial. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you can get started using PayHip for absolutely free. You only get charged a transaction fee when you make your sales. Now, I think this is great for anyone who is starting out because this means that you can actually get started selling products without having to pay a subscription before you make your first sale. So let's jump into my computer screen so I can show you how you can get started selling your digital products with PayHip. To sign up with PayHip, all you would need is an email address and a password. Once you've created your PayHip account, the next screen will ask you to enter your name or the name of your business. This will be the name display on your PayHip online store. So I suggest entering the name that you want your customers to see. After you enter their name, you're going to see a page that says, Welcome to PayHip. And it's three things that we need to do to get started. We need to set up your product, set up your checkout, this is for your payments, and then set up your store. So first, let's go ahead and click on Add Your First Product. Once this window pops up, again, click Add Product. And then you want to select the type of product that you want to create a store for. So we are selecting digital product. So this page is where you add all of your digital product information. The first step is to add your digital product. After you upload your product, next is to type in your title. And then you can select the price and you can choose whatever price that you want. Next is to add a cover photo for your digital product. You can upload an image, but you have to keep in mind that the minimum image width has to be 1000 pixels. I've already created an image using Canva. You can go inside Canva and you can create a custom dimension of 1000 by 1000, or you can simply just use the Instagram post size which is 1080 by 1080. The next section is to add a description of your product. And you want to basically let the customer know what they are receiving and the benefits of your product. Now you do also have some options here to edit the text. So if you wanted to bold out the benefits, you can do that as well. I just wanted to let you know that this option is available to you. So if we keep scrolling, the next option is visibility. And honestly, I would suggest just leaving it um, visible. That way everybody can see your product. Now, if someone later down the line, if you wanted to unlist the product, you can do that as well. Next, you click on advanced options. And you will see different options that are available to you. One of the options that I really want to point out to you is to select automatically subscribe customers to your mailing list. Now you would need to integrate your e-marketing platform in order to do this, but this is a great way to build an email list of people who are actually purchasing your products. And you would just review the other options and see which ones best fit you. Once you're done selecting your options, all you have to do is hit add product. Now your product has been added. So to see what your product page looks like, you can click on show me my product page. So this is what the customers see when they click on your product. 
you can see the name of your business, the title of the product, the image, and the description of the product. Now, as you can see right now, it doesn't have like a buy option and that's because we have not set up the payment option yet, but we're gonna do that in just a few moments. Now, if we go back to this page, you can see that you can start selling your product by simply sharing this link. You can share this link to your social media pages and also on your website. They do provide options for you to share on Facebook and Twitter. I wanna show you another way that you can share your products. Go to the top and click on products and you will see all of your products that are listed. You want to go to the share and embed option. And this is how you can embed your product directly on your website if you do have your own product page. You can hit embed. You can change this button. You can change what you want the call to action to be. You can change the color. And you can change the type of purchase. This can be a direct purchase or it can be an add to cart purchase. So I like this add to cart feature because if you have multiple products and if the customer wants to purchase multiple products, they can add different products to their cart and only have one checkout versus just doing a checkout per product. Okay, now that we've added our product, it is time to set up our account so we can collect payment. So you wanna go back to the dashboard and now you get a little sign that says your first product has been added and you show that you are 50% of setting up your store. So the next step again is to set up the checkout process. So when the pop-up pops up, click on set up checkout. Now in order to collect payments from PayHip, you will need to have a PayPal account or a Stripe account and you will simply just connect your existing accounts to pay hip, keep in mind that you may be charged additional fee from PayPal or Stripe for using this setup. Once you've connected your accounts, just scroll down and you want to select your default currency. I am in the US, so it's US dollars for me, but if you are in a different country, you would just select the currency for your country. The next section is a statement description. This is what will appear on your customer's bank statement one they process or purchase a payment from you. Um, keep in mind there is a maximum of 11 characters, so you just want to type something, type a description that's going to make the customer recognize that they made the payment from you. The next tab in this account setting section that I feel is very important is the taxes tab. You wanna make sure that you go through this section and set up your taxes according to the type of product that you are selling and your country and state. I'm not a tax expert, so I really don't want to recommend what you should put here. However, PayHip does have a help center with an article that shows you or gives you recommendations on what you should type in for your taxes. And the last tab that I feel that is important for digital products is the advanced settings tab. So under the advanced settings, you have some additional options for your digital products. And the first one is to protect your PDF files. And this is a great option to kind of deter um, others from sharing your digital product or trying to resell your digital product. So you wanna select this and what it does is stamps the buyer's email and date of purchase on the top left-hand corner of each page of the PDF, okay? The next option is to receive notifications every time one of your products is sold. It's up to you if you want to keep on those notifications. The next one is for inventory notifications. This is not relevant to digital products. Next is download limit. And what this does is maximize the number of times a customer can download the product that they've purchased. So it really depends on you as the business owner, what you want to do. If you don't want it to make it a hassle, I suggest making it a, a huge number, probably like 100. That way they can have multiple times that they can download the product. Next is Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel. So if you have those set up, you can integrate that with your pay help so you can track your customers and have analytical 
information. So the next option is for store units. Uh, again, this is not relevant to digital products, so you can skip that one. The next section is checkout settings. You can redirect your customers to a particular web page, such as a thank you page or an upsell page in a funnel sequence that you may have. You can collect the customer's first and last name during a digital product checkout. And you can also um, ask a question for your, to your customers during the checkout process. For me personally, I wouldn't do the question option only because you want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to check out. The next section is for course settings. So if the digital product that you plan to sell is a digital course, here are some additional options that you can choose to and apply them to your course. The next section is for logo and invoice settings. So if you want to have your logo included on the invoice that your customers receive, you can turn that on and you can upload your logo. And you can also add your business address so your customer can receive that information. Again, that is optional. This last section is email receipts. So this is what your customer will receive once they make a purchase. Now keep in mind that if you do have multiple digital products that you plan to sell, everyone's gonna receive the same receipt. So you wanna make sure that it is a general receipt. You just wanna have a nice subject line and a little message like thank you for your purchase and follow me on social media for more whatever. And you would just add that call to action in there. Once you're done, you just hit save settings and your account information has been saved. Now that you set up your payment details, this is what your product page looks like. You now have the buy button on your product page and it is ready to go. Now let me show you those advanced marketing features that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. You want to go to the top and select marketing. And it's going to give you a few tabs and a few options that you can use to help increase your sales. The first two are discount codes. So you can create a coupon code or a social discount code. You can use those when you are doing like some type of campaign or promotion sale. Let's talk about affiliates. So you have the option to create an affiliate program for your product, which means you can have your customers sign up and promote and sell your product and they receive a commission for selling and promoting your product. Just keep in mind that PayHip does not manage your affiliate program. You will be responsible for that. However, they do provide you with a monthly report that you can use to keep up and manage those affiliates and those payouts. The next option to help increase sales is the cross sell option. You do need to have a minimum of two products available in your online store. A cross sell product is basically a product that complements the product that the person is purchasing. The next option to help increase sales is a referral program. So the referral program works a little bit different than affiliates. With the referral program, it works like if you refer a friend, you receive like 20% off or a discounted percent. So you, it's like an incentive for your friends or your customers for promoting your product. The last option is an upgrade. And what this acts like is an upsell. So once a person has purchased a product, they can receive a discount if they repurchase a second product, but they only receive the discount if they purchase the first product. So if they purchase product A, then you would give them an upsell to purchase product B at a discount. So that's how that works. I think these marketing options are really great for anyone who is, again, is looking to help increase their sales of their digital product. And now it is time to set up your PayHip online store. So all you have to do is click on customize store design and then click customize design. From the dashboard, it's going to take you to your online store builder inside of PayHip. Now for this tutorial, I'm just going to go over some simple things that you need to know. If you would like a full tutorial on how to customize your PayHip online store, just let me know in the comments by typing the words PayHip store in the comments. So from here, you can see this is the name of your store and you can see your digital products. And at the bottom, there is an about me section. 
So in order to change this section here, you will go to the left and select About Me. To change the image, just select Replace, and then upload the image that you want to use. Choose this image, and now that your profile picture has been uploaded, if you wanted to change the heading, instead of it saying About Me, you can change that here. In this text box section, you can add a short bio, just letting your customers know who you are and what you are about. And again, there are some advanced settings there at the bottom. Once you've changed your profile picture and added your bio, you scroll back to the top and select Save Changes. And now you will see your information on your page. You can view your page by desktop or by mobile. So this is what it looked like on mobile. And you hit a preview and you can see what your page looks like. Once you're done, you want to hit publish and your store has been published. You can click on visit your store and now your online digital shop has been set up with PayHip. Once you have your store set up completed, you are ready to get started selling your digital products. If you are excited to start your digital product business, let me know down in the comments. To get a list of digital products ideas, just check out this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.